Hey guys, Jason here for Truck Guys, taking a look at our first batch of coronavirus names. We're going to start with APT on the daily time frame. APT had this beautiful inside bar that we talked about yesterday. We saw a little bit of a strong open, almost immediate rejection by the bears, pushing the price down. And we're going to take a look at those time frames. We got into a nice little pattern, broke a key support, and saw a quick flush. We'll, we'll check that out. But on the daily time frame, we have support at 1051 and 1012. Resistance is really building up here with Hive Day. 1377 and 14 all acting as resistance for the bulls on the four hour time frame there's a tightening range we see our quick flush to the downside and now we're going to expect to see at some point once we see to see a little bit of strength there's going to be a lower high anything under 1330 is going to be a four hour lower high and possibly setting up a four hour downtrend on the hourly time frame there's that quick break we have not seen an hourly lower high so it's the same range that we're looking for just like on the four hour time frame, we're looking for a four or an hourly lower high and some sort of bounce to form up. Our RSI has got to be getting close to oversold. There we are, 33, 53, and pretty interesting day. We're going to jump right to the five minute time frame because this is when things get useful for us. So here we are. We start our day relatively strong. We see immediate rejection. Then we get a, a double bottom, a triple bottom at 1221, and we actually touch two more times. So we had a beautiful support here. We had five minute lower highs. So our first descending triangle was formed up. Then we broke that level, which suggests that we're gonna see that movement to test our inside bar key level of 1180. We see that flush, we broke 1180. We see some stop losses triggered. Market sales go in, we flush right below 1156. Then we get into another descending triangle with five minute lower highs, break 1156, come back up, and now we're being pinned down by our EMA 12, EMA 26, and our EMA 8. So a very strong five minute downtrend, 15 minute downtrend, and hourly bears are currently in control with no signs of strength yet. Next support is 1051. This chart is a perfect example of how using technical analysis on the daily time frame can be combined with just watching five minute patterns, looking for breaks of key support, and watching that follow through absolutely beautiful play on apt today lake on the daily time frame we see an indecision bar today we had a big run up a rejection by the bulls so ultimately we don't have a lot of clarity or direction what we are going to be watching is these consistent higher lows as soon as we lose daily higher lows then we're going to start to look for a change in trend but right now bulls are still technically in control of LAKE. On the four hour time frame, you can see that making a little bit more sense here. We do have a key resistance at 1880. That's gonna be the high of market from 17, or March 17th and from March uh, 19th. 1880 is the key resistance above that. We do have a triple top at uh, in the area of 1930. So we're gonna be watching for these daily higher lows. As soon as we lose those daily higher lows, we're gonna look for some consolidation. But right now, bulls are in control, still setting hourly higher lows, and they need to get over top of 1880. Anything over 1625 is going to be an hourly higher low. CODX on the four hour time frame still playing out relatively well inside this range. What we're trying to do is confirm a higher low over 951 and then we want a, a lower high under 1488 to continue this tightening range. On the hourly time frame we can see that we are locking up almost in an equilibrium but that is what happens when you get in these tightening ranges. Things get a little funky, you get little miniature patterns and little miniature trends inside each other and that's that, that coiling action, that, that spring that builds up. On the daily time frame relatively indecisive. Looks like bears are in big control but we know with the whole story when you go to the four hour time frame it's a little bit back and forth so it's all about this range right now 832 1488 until those new levels are more firmly established vir on the hourly time frame continues to break bear out of this hourly wedge we talked about the other day we broke a key support at 4303 and now we are looking at a little bit of a bounce uh, probably oversold on the five minute time frame let's take a quick look at that Two oversold bounces on the five minute time frame. Currently relatively indecisive on the 50 minutes. We are still establishing those 15 minute lower highs, rejecting from our EMA 26 once and twice. And right now it's very, very tight. Bulls need to maintain a high over 4201 to have any sort of hope of changing this overall trend. Then they need to, uh, failing that, they need to establish a higher low over 37. Once they could break uh, or hold 4303 support, they need a high over top of 4682 to change that trend. Last one for this round of tickers, NVAX, strong day, but seeing a lot of rejection from the bears, a lot of profit taking here, which has should have you cautious for uh, what caused that. So every time you see a wick, you wanna investigate that story. Likely we're gonna see an hourly trend change here. We've had one, two, three green bars, big upper wick, We'll examine that story, but we do have low of day support right in the area of former resistance. So 1080 
Our low of day is 1080. So there's that support resistance from March 11th coming back into play. Potential back test of this level. We want to see the story going into our sub time frames. On the four hour time frame, we still see our, our four hour higher lows and higher highs. So bulls are in control of that. And on the hourly time frame, we are still establishing hourly higher lows. And what we want to do is make sure that bulls can stay over top of this key level. Let's grab that guy. 1102. If they fail to hold 1102, we're going to look for four hour consolidation because that does not happen for a little while. And then we're going to need to establish a four hour higher low over 966, 965. That's right. Five minute time frame. Pretty interesting day. Big, big spike up. We saw almost an equilibrium setting up, but then bears just failed to do much. I suspect this is probably when we had the um, press conference wherein the president of the United States uh, favored or at least discussed uh, existing drug applications in NVAX. If this is indeed a vaccine play, then they would suffer uh, a lack of potential revenue if that does indeed succeed. So that would cause uh, a drop like this. We'll see if that actually came into play, but 11.02, there's that key support right there. Five minute trend is relatively indecisive. If you wanna learn more about technical analysis and how you can interpretate, interpretate, interpret different time frames and apply that knowledge using very small time frames as you're day trading, as you're trying to find your optimal entries, that's what we do at Chart Guys. I love this stuff and I want you to uh, learn as much as you can. So come check us out, chartguys.com.